Hey, good morning. Um, I showed you how to mix color last night. Uh, this is what you can do to keep, if you have a, a styrofoam egg carton, just put a moist paper towel in it. It'll keep the paint moist till the morning. Otherwise, this stuff dries to rock. Uh, yeah, it will never mix in once it's dry, but while it's wet, uh, you can still use it. And you've got a substantial amount of paint left here. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side. And what I did is I just drew up a design. And what I want to do is have some patterning, a little bit of overlap, the way this line goes over the top of the shape, uh, a little patterning, and I'm just going to paint into this. It's just a design uh, which you're going to submit to me. Uh, and I'll tell you how to do that later, but right now, let's just paint into it. Okay, so you've got a variety of brushes. be good to have like a small one, a small flat, and a bigger flat. So let's paint the big areas first. I've got this grid work here. I'm not going to use that. And I'm just going to go... I've got this left over around here to paint into. Um, you can use a piece of cardboard. Because we don't have palettes, or you can go out and get palette paper, or use a piece of glass, a piece of plexiglass, whatever. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paint into this. This is how you cut a line. Say there's a sharp line right here. Put that brush right over on the edge and just drag it around. If you lose a little bit of the design, it's not a big deal. It's not stone carving. Everything can be changed. On the paper, this is going to dry pretty fast. Let me show you how to cut into this pattern. It's going to need to be a little bit wetter. We go up, down, up, down. I don't care if this is perfect. A uh, good guy to look at would be Richard Devencorn in terms of like making abstract paintings. Well, we want it to be kind of loose and kind of painterly. I want you to get a feel for what paint does, mostly. That's what this exercise is all about. I use some geometrics. I think I used a, 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 this tape thing to make the circle. I just traced it around it. You can use any object that you've got to do that kind of a thing for the design. But I'm just going to go into this and I'm just going to use some odd colors. Okay, that's kind of a dirty yellow, which I like. And I kind of like it with the, uh, with the gray, how these things are working. You're always looking at how one color affects another color. So I'm just going to put a, I'm going to put a nice pink like right through here. And I'm just going to cut this line against that line. Even if it's wet, it doesn't matter. So that drags like nicely down to there. It fades out a little bit. I'll, I'll put a little more up in here. We're just cutting into it. It's kind of speedy. And I, I, brought, it, I brought it an inside edge here just because it's, I don't know, a border looks good. So let me use a few more colors, and I don't care what colors you use. Uh, let's put some of this in here. It's like a nice brown. I'm going to put a brown like right down through here. Brown and yellow always look good together. Cool. And let's take it right all the way up. So this thing is just going to fill in like a puzzle. You can use any colors you want. Um, you know, it'd be nice if you were practicing your, your shades. Uh, that's, which is a pastel with a little bit of dark in it, uh, just because those things lay flat beautifully. So I'm going to make like a nice purple shade, like going right up through here. And they work off the pastels really well. This is a pastel, this is a shade. Shade just has a little bit of black in it. I showed you last night how to do that. And this is going to fill in like a puzzle. I don't care if the lines are super clean. You can take your time. I'm doing this as quickly as I can so that I can show you. I just want to bump up green against purple just because I like those two colors in combination. You get this cool patterning. And I may show you this once it's a finished painting. You know, but I'm not going to take this too far because we're just working this up as, a, as an idea. It's an abstract painting. Don't paint anything representational. Make it geometric because it gets you into the paint. You know, if you're trying to portray something first out, it's going to limit you because uh, you're, you're going to make a painting of a sunset or whatever, but once you've achieved it, you stop mixing. And I want you to mix color. I want you to put color down. 
I want to show you what wet into wet looks like. I've got this big gray area. So let's just see what happens when I drop a, a chunk of white in here. I'm just going to put a bunch of dots. If I go from the top, it's kind of a nice pattern. And I had a checkerboard pattern on there that I drew out with pencil. You can draw the whole thing out with pencil. But I just decided I didn't feel like filling in a checkerboard. Too much work. I don't have enough time to show you. But that's kind of a nice patterning. Or if I decide I don't like it, all i got to do is just smush it out. You know, things can really change. Things can move quickly. Uh, you know, I might just try brush strokes. I might see what happens if I run a little bit of yellow over the top of the black, which will give you a kind of a nice green. One color can sit on top of another, and you should take one section of your painting and just mess around with paint to see what happens. We can set that, we can set this chaos against this order, which is a really nice thing in terms of design. So that's about it. I'll show you the finished painting when I'm done. Just fill this in, and this is what you're going to submit to me. I'll tell you how to do it on Blackboard uh, at a little bit later date. That's it.